Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech, and this is a 2011 MacBook Pro, the 15 inch variant that actually has had the battery expand. Now the battery has been removed and it actually pushed some of the bottom out. You'll see we're missing some screws and some of the feet and here's the battery that came out of it. This one has a swelled up cell and you can see it should be this thickness here, but instead this one has swelled out and possibly one under here as well. So it actually burst the bottom up a little bit. Thankfully, I think everything's okay inside. We'll take a look at that in a moment. But in order to replace this, you need a battery and thanks to iFixit for sending this along. They didn't pay for a sponsorship or anything on this video, but they were nice enough to send the battery and some of the replacement screws that go here. Now I'm going to take this apart. We'll take a look and see how it goes. And I'm using the iFixit ProTech toolkit. I'll link all this stuff in the description below, but I just needed to get this repaired and they were nice enough to help me out. So let's get started. We just use normal Phillips head screws on this Mac since it's 2011. And then this part's magnetic. And I always use this because it just holds whatever you need as far as the screws. So I'll set it aside. We've got that there to hold everything and we'll start by taking all of this apart. So the covers off the bottom, you'll see it's a little bit dirty. It's missing the super drive and that's because it stopped working some time ago and we're going to replace it with a hard drive since we're not really using the disc drives anymore. But right here, You'll see this is where the battery went and there's two Y0 screws that we need to remove that were holding the battery in place before. So we'll take this out and take this out. There's actually a third one right here. Now here's the brand new battery. You'll see there's the part number right there. Let's open it up. And here we go. It's wrapped just like that. So we'll unwrap it here. So what we can do is put it in place just like this and it sits under these tabs right here. And it sits down here just like this. And we need to pull this back to get these screws in. So we'll put this down like this and then a screw goes here. Another screw goes here and one over here as well. Now that all three screws are in place, we need to put the battery cable back on. So it sits here like this, straight down, and you just plug it in. So this is the little tab to pull it out. You can see the RAM's been upgraded and everything. We've got everything back together. So I'm going to clean these out a little bit. We'll put the bottom case back on and we should be good to go. Now I've cleaned these out with some air. Let's put this bottom case back on. Now I will need to get some feet eventually to put these back in place, but at least we have the case in place and we're ready to use it again uh, safely, hopefully. So let's go ahead and put that back together. Here are the screws that I'm going to use and they'll fit a 13 or 15 inch. Now here's all of the screws and they have Loctite pre-applied, so they're good to go. Now that the battery's been replaced, we need to see if it actually turns on and charges. So I do have a cable here to plug in and see if it will charge. So we'll see if it goes green screen and then it should go orange if it's going to charge. Let's see if it turns on. There we go. It's orange. We'll unplug it. We'll see if it turns on here and we should be good to go assuming everything else is working okay. So it's on, it's starting to boot up and that's it. Now the computer's back up and running. It works if I pull the plug or anything like that. It's on battery power and it works how it's supposed to. Thankfully this is a highly repairable MacBook that Apple used to make and hopefully they've heard our cries and help us out in the future. However, once you're done with the battery replacement, please make sure you dispose of it responsibly in a recycling place because uh, it has a lot of chemicals that are not so great. But let me know your experience in the comments below if you've ever done one of these or if you haven't, hopefully this helps you 
if you need to get one of these done. I'll link all of those things in the description as well that I used. And if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and like. As always, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.